Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another two-box break of 2019 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Football Random Pack Break number 10. Big thanks to Michael, Rick, and TJ in this one. There are the numbers right here. So let's pop open these two boxes, number the packs, then we'll randomize your names, randomize the pack numbers, and see what you end up with. Good luck. You're welcome, Panini. Let's go to the dice. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list four and a five nine times. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Four and a five. After nine times, we've got Rick. Down to Rick. Nine times for the pack numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got pack five down to nine. All right, so Rick, you got a lot of packs. Five, six, four, three. 8, 10, 12, and 9. Michael Hansen, you have 7 and 11. TJ, you got 2 with your last ball in Mojo. And Michael with pack 1. We're going to do these alphabetically. Except we're going to skip Rick. And we'll go, we'll go Michael, TJ, and then we'll do Rick. So Michael, you're first. So 7, 11, and 1. Actually, let me print out the labels for these. So I can bag them up a little bit easy, more easily. Saturday, So there it is, 7, 11, and 1. 7, 11, and 1. Rick Barker say, hey, skip me as many times as you need to, Joe, just as long as I get my Kyler Murray. That's right, Rick Barker, a conflicted Arizona Cardinals fan. I'm sure he has a lot of rows and stuff, but he's like, all right, I guess I got to go row, got to go Kyler Murray now. There's DeMarcus Lodge. I think he got drafted, right? Not sure, but a lot of rounds. Too many rounds. I can't keep track. We got Dax Raymond. Hey, 
Right, Atomic Car Guys. Yep, sorry, not becoming a Dolphins fan. Sorry, Josh Rosen. Well, hey, maybe change of scenery has got to do him well. And, you know, Cliff gets his guy. And there's Jordan Scarlett. It's your third autograph. I guess I, the, the, I think the glass half full approach to the Cardinals, I think. Thanks, Michael, by the way. I think the glass, the glass uh, half full kind of uh, approach to this, you know, I know everyone's like lols Cardinals drafting two quarterbacks. But listen, if you're going to hire a brand new coach, right, don't, don't like neuter him by making him stick with a QB that doesn't work with his philosophy, right? Give him every, every chance to succeed. Come hell or high water. Might as well. You know, if you're going to hire a coach with a, a specific, a very specific set of skills, you know, don't, don't hand him the wrong tools. Give him what he needs. You know, you bite that, you bite the bullet, you got to swallow the pill. You got to be like, all right, the bitter pill. Got to move Rosen. Sucks. But if we're gonna, if we're going to make this fresh start, we may as well make it as clean as possible. Move on. Michael Hansen, there you go. Thank you. So we're skipping Rick. He's got the rest. TJ, last spot mojo, pack two. Good luck, Teach. All right, we've got a wide receiver. We've got Penny Hart. College ticket autograph, Penny Hart. I don't remember if he was drafted or not. There you go, TJ. Thanks for giving it a shot. No Kyler Murray. Yeah, I I thought especially with the uh, with all those uh, Larry Fitzgerald, you know, emotional message to DK Metcalf. Which is really good. I thought I thought, I thought those were great commercials. Um, I th I thought I thought the it was the writing was on the wall for sure that they would get DK Metcalf, Kyler Murray to DK Metcalf. That would make that would make the uh, the Cardinals really expensive. All right, Rick, you've got the rest. Five, six, four. Five, six, four. Three, eight, ten. Three. Eight, ten, twelve, and nine. Twelve and nine. Good luck, sir. I think the Raiders did okay. I, I think people, uh, my my eyebrow included, other eyebrows were raised at how early Cleveland Farrell went. But hey, I mean. You know, I'm no, I'm no scout. You know what I mean. I, I haven't studied Cleveland Farrell or any of the other guys intensively. So, if the Raiders felt like that's where he, he, that's where they wanted his their guy, you know, instead of maybe waiting and getting value but not getting their guy, you know, you might as well go ahead and get your guy if that's the guy. So they got a guy. And I think their other picks were great too. That safety, Jonathan Abrams, I think, and of course that Tulsa running back or who went to Alabama. Josh Jacobs, I think, was a great pick. All those guys seem to be high character guys too. You know, I think that was important for Mike Mayock and John Gruden. And in this NFL climate. They got uh they got Hunter Renfro, wide receiver from Clemson, I thought was a was a good late round pick. That could be a good slot receiver for the Raiders to pair alongside Antonio Brown, Tyrell Williams, among others. I have, to, I have to look at the other. I have to look at some of the other picks, you know. Um, maybe we'll look at that after this break. I don't think there's a lot of orders coming in. So, yeah. All in all, I think I think uh, it turned out to be pretty solid. 
There's Raquel Armstead. I think they shored up some uh, some defense too. I mean, Raiders have a lot of holes to fill. So, but uh, all in all, I think they kind of they kind of address a lot of spots and. I, I, I thought they would have just gone, you know, just best available, but I think they went, which, and I'm happy about this, I think they went a little next level going, we're not just going to take best available, but what's best for us. And, and I think that made a little more sense because reading about some of the guys, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that that is kind of what we need and everything. So, um, like, for example, Josh Allen was on everyone's mock draft a lot higher, not Cleveland Farrell, right? But Josh Allen apparently was more of a linebackery type, and I think the Raiders were looking for more of hands on the ground edge rusher sort of type, and that's who they got. They got another edge rusher later in the rounds too. I forget who, but they got someone else. So they're really shoring up that that offensive line, and they also they still have like Mo Hurst, you know, from Michigan last year. So they could have a pretty pretty uh, revamped front line pretty quickly. There's Greedy Williams. Nice. Is he a Cardinal, Rick? Maybe not. That's a nice one. So yeah, I think the Raiders did okay. All in all. You know, they filled some, they did work in, in the, in, in the off season, right? In that window, they got Antonio Brown. So that's pretty solid. Yeah, you know, they short up some of the key holes, and then let's let's see what uh let's see what else they can do. You know, I'm sure it'll take another year, another draft or two, a couple couple more free agents. There's Jonathan Abram. There he is. Just talking about him. Could work on his autograph. Work on your autograph, John. But another another draft window, another free agency window, and a little bit of luck, a little bit of health. You know, health from the key guys. Oh no, he went to the Browns. Greedy Williams. Little help from the from uh, luck, Lady Luck, and a little bit of health luck as well. The Raiders might have a nice couple couple uh, opening years in Las Vegas, which I think is the key. That's what they're kind of gunning for. So take another step this year, and then you know re-explore the free agent market next year, and then the draft again next year, which is in Vegas. And then leading to the inaugural season in Vegas, so I think, I, th I think that's what they're really scheduling for. So I hope I hope it works out for my Raiders anyway. Preston Williams, DJ Peters with a home run. How many does he have now? They, I feel like they should. I don't think there, there's there's no room for DJ Peters, but he's too good. They could trade him for something. We've got Gary Jennings Jr. Got a couple more autographs to go, Rick. We got Greg Dorsch from Wake Forest. All right, and your last autograph, Rick. Good luck. It's going to be a blue team. You can tell by the border. It's a QB. It's Daniel Jones. One of one, Daniel Jones. Okay. He's got a nice autograph. Giants fans not happy about this pick, I think. Most of them, anyway. But who knows? People thought the Bears took Mitchell Trubisky too high. Random quarterback from uh, North Carolina or whatever, wherever he came from. Like a non -foot, non a not traditional football school. But we'll see what happens, Rick. All aboard the Big Hit Express. <laughs> Throat is still a little tender. So there you go. Yeah, that's a good save to the break, right? I was like, you got some guys. 
I was like, oh, I'll bet I, I better start looking, at, start thinking of silver linings. But no, that does it, right there. There you go, Daniel Jones. Let's see what happens. It's a hey, he's he's a high round, he's a quarterback, he's a high round draft pick. That's hashtag good for the hobby. Now, now let's hope he gets. Maybe get, get some work done. Hopefully, hopefully he's not a Kyle Oletta. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.